Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is about the graph paper tool. It's a new way for me, at least, to draw tile. If you were going to lay out tile in a laser bed and, and possibly even make, make something bigger than your laser bed, you could use the graph paper tool. Go up to Tools, Customize, Toolbox, and right here is Graph Paper. If you want to make it square, you want four by four or whatever, how many ever tile you want, and press OK. Then right here, under your Pentagon Polygon tool, is the Graph Paper tool. And then just hold down the Control button and draw however big you want it to be. It's right here, you could change it to four by four. And you could change your dimensions. And let's just make it 18 on both of them. So now you've got 18 by 18. So each square is um, equal. So we're going to go ahead and put that to the corner of the page. And we're going to bring in our graphic, in any graphic. And we're going to bring it in. You don't have to just kind of size it to see if it'll fit. And then while you're clicked on it, go to Effects, Power Clip, Place Inside Frame, and there you go. Now all you have to do is go up to Arrange and Ungroup. Now each square is individual. So if you had a laser bed that was not as big as these tile were and so let's just in for instance let's uh let's make this quite big so now we've got uh we'll make them even let's make them 30 by 30 so it won't fit on my laser bed and i've got a 48 by 20 but because they're individual I could run these tile in one job and run the other tile in another job. It doesn't matter. You could have a tiny, tiny laser and you could just move things around and you could run those. And uh, so that's just, you know, that's 15 by 15. So if you had a laser, well, even there, a lot of laser people don't have but 12. So you could do this. You could run those two tile, run these two tile, and then they would still all fit together. Anyway, so that's the graph paper tool. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.